Hey, what's up pilots? This is Nick from Part-Time Pilot uh, doing another video, this time on communication boxes that you'll find on a sectional or terminal area chart. So let's get started with an example. This is for Julian VOR near San Diego. First off, you're going to have the, on top of this box, you're going to have a frequency and this is the frequency of the FSS radio frequency. So 122.6 is the radio frequency. Now if it's just 122.6 and it's not accompanied by an R, this means that you can transmit and receive on 122.6. So you can call up the FSS radio and say, you know, have a request and they will talk back to you all on 122.6. Now if this says 122.6 R, that means you can talk to FSS on 122.6, but you can't hear them on 122.6. Instead, you can they can transmit and you can hear them on 114.0. So what you would do is in your comm radio, you would put in 122.6 so that when you key the mic, you're talking on 122.6. They will hear you on 122.6, but then you'll have your nav radio on 114.0 with the volume turned up and you will be able to hear the reply on 114.0. So that's if you see an R accompanied, accompanying this frequency up here on top. For this case, Julian, it, there is no R, so you can transmit and receive on 122.6. Okay, so next up, you're just gonna have the name of the VOR Vortec or VOR DME, and it'll say VOR DME or Vortec. If, Otherwise, it just assumes it's a it's a VOR. So this is Julian VOR. Next, you're gonna have the VOR frequency. So if this is accompanied with a star, it means that it ha does not have continuous operations. So again, just like in airport information, whenever you see a star, it means you're gonna have to find more information about that because there's limitations to it. In this case, it does not operate continuously, but Julian VR has no star, so it, we know it operates continuously. So this frequency 114.0, as mentioned earlier, this is what you enter into your nav radio. So if you enter in 114.0 into nav one, that is linked to VOR one, and you can move that VOR and find where you are and all that jazz. All right, so next up you're gonna have CH 87 so ch is means a channel and this is for a vortex or tacan facility and this is i believe it's military operations i have never used it with as a private pilot so i don't think if you're looking for your private pilot's license i don't think you need to worry about that channel too much below the box you're gonna have a, kind of an enclosed name as you can see the kind of enclosed is San Diego and this is the name of the FSS station providing voice communications so on 122.6 you would call and you would say San Diego radio and then next inside here you're just gonna have the VOR facility identifier just like an airport has an identifier so do the VORs and then next you're gonna see dots and dashes now this is Morse code for the facility and why does it have a Morse code well has a Morse code that continuously is on a loop. That, so when it's operational, you'll be able to hear this Morse code on loop. And you can do that by you dial in 114.0, you pull out your volume knob and you wait. And if you hear this Morse code, that's your check. That's how you know that this VOR is operational. So if you tune into 114.0 on your nav and it doesn't see, your VOR doesn't seem to be working, you should definitely check to see if you can hear this morse code by pulling out that volume knob and uh, if you don't then the vor is not operating if you do then there might be something with how you're using your vor or your vor in general and then finally you're going to see up here in a little enclosed blue circle either an h an a or a t now this just means the service is available at the station in this case, the H means HIWAS. If it were an A, it would mean ASOS or AWAS. And if it's a T, it would mean T-WEB. Okay, so that has been communication boxes on sectional and terminal area charts. If you have any questions, please comment below. And please subscribe. If you do subscribe, you can also follow me on Instagram at part period time period pilot. Send me a DM on there. Show me that you subscribe to my Instagram or my YouTube. Sorry. Once I see that you subscribe to my YouTube, I'll ask for your email and I will send you a PDF of all my Instagram posts. So, so all my Instagrams I keep in a PDF and the text is searchable. So it's a great study guide. You can 
think of, let's say you need help on a VOR, you simply do control F on this PDF, you type in VOR, it'll find all the references to VOR, and you can search to each one of my posts with extra info, a great st quick study guide. So subscribe to my YouTube, DM me on Instagram, and I'll send you that right away. So thanks guys.